Hey everybody, it's Mike Frieder here with On Call Compliance Solutions, and I'm back with another Compliance Tip of the Week. This week we're talking about CMMC Control PS.L2-3.9.1, screen individuals prior to authorizing access to organizational systems containing CUI. Say, hey, if you're a defense contractor who's feeling overwhelmed, tired and alone, trying to understand all of this CMMC, DFARS, and NIST SP-800-171 compliance stuff on top of an already colossal workload, well, I've got great news for you. You found your home here at On-Call Compliance Solutions, where we can help you transform into your company's on-call compliance hero. Let's jump into it. So, you're hired. Here's the password to the next major piece of military fear gear. Yikes! Okay, so this is an interesting control to try and quantify because essentially the idea here is that you should not just randomly give someone access to CUI, all right? That would be bad. That makes enough sense to me, but then they really stop pretty short of telling you what the qualifications should be or criteria because of course every company and situation is different. All they're really after here is what is the process you use and can you show an assessor what that looks like? it better be documented and formalized so they know it's repeatable. Hey, here's yet another hint. You probably have it, ought to have a policy on that. So if you don't have a policy on that, it's time to break out the sharp pencil or just dial our phone number and we'll hook you up with a policy. Honestly, I think it's a little, a little bit goofy because screening doesn't really specify anything. Uh, nothing specific like a background check, uh, no criminal background check. Uh, so why does this actually increase security? highly interesting to me, but who cares what I think, right? Because at the end of the day, uh, it's really the assessors and what they want and what they want is a process, not necessarily anything specific in that process. So, hey, fair enough. Let's go see exactly what they want on this one. Only one assessment point here, which is determined if individuals are screened prior to authorizing access to organizational systems containing CUI. Uh, if you were to give a sample answer, we would say, hey, the organization utilizes a screening and training process, which includes criminal background checks, interviews, and drug tests prior to allowing system, system access. So uh, if you need more help on this, uh, the good news is that at On Call, we work with defense contractors, just like you, who've had this DFARS, NIST, ITAR, and CMMC compliance stuff dropped into their laps like a seagull on a sunny day. And we teach you how to level up and be a proper On Call compliance hero for your company, eliminating gaps, gray areas, and getting this solved all while showing you how to leverage compliance is your secret weapon to land more defense work with higher profit margins. Now that's what becoming an on-call compliance hero can do for you. If you're looking for more help getting compliant, our compliance experts are always on call for you. Visit cmmccompliancesecrets.com or check out the bio below for links to get help right now. If you love the content we're putting out here for you, help us out with a big thumbs up on that like button, or even better, smash the subscribe button to get the latest compliance content as soon as our compliance nerds roll it out. Until the next compliance tip, my friends, stay safe and secure out there. Hit us in the comments below to let us know what you'd like to know more about when it comes to information security and compliance. I'll see you on the next one.